Hi, my name is Tracy Pepe. Welcome to my channel. Looking a very different today. Definitely need a haircut. Have the COVID hair happening. I'm proud. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for coming back and sharing my channel. I really appreciate it. Um, if you're new to the channel, thank you for joining me. Um, and if you are back, I really appreciate the support. This is great. So as COVID-19 has hit the airwaves, we have been doing regular updated uh, YouTube videos here in my home, in my office home, talking about what to do with essential oils. And we are offering uh, a live conf uh, conference Zoom call once a week to try to teach people on the various different subjects. And we have uploaded our new website too. So there's lots of wonderful things that we're working on and supporting our community. So the, today's, um, I'm really excited actually, because this is the next series that I'm working on and it is based on Smelling Colors. And Smelling Colors is a trademark that I own for Whiff Loves. And it started about eight, nine years ago in my kitchen where I was designing um, some fragrances for a hotel. And it was based on the premise of colors because I work with the interior designers and the architects. Um, and what I'm noticing and what we notice, because in our industry, we see the psychology based on how certain scents are categorized in certain ways based on color perception. There's been a lot of really interesting research coming out about when we smell, we're smelling a vibration and a vibration has a different impact on us, how we feel. It's not the brain is kind of saying, oh, that is this oil. It's based on the vibration of the, of the scent. So it's quite in depth, it's really interesting, but the simplistic side to that is color is a vibration as well. And so when you look at color, sound is a vibration, we live in a vibration. This is really how we as humans connect. And with COVID-19, I find that really interesting because we're missing that connection. Why scent is so powerful is when you smell something, it brings back the memories and it brings back the emotions that are affiliated to that sense. So you almost go on a journey of once was. And so this is why I know scent is such a huge, powerful tool to be used in your home, your car, your work environment, to simply make you feel better, to make your environment feel better. It has such amazing impacts. So smelling colors is broken up into eight colors. Each week I will talk about the various different colors. Today I want to talk about orange. <laughs> it's funny how it's opposite. Sorry. So orange. So orange is um, obviously different shades. But orange are usually citrus colors, citruses, citruses in general. Now, when you think of the word citrus, you think orange, lemon. That's true. It comes from a rind um, and it's called cold expression. So when you take the rind off of the fruit and you squeeze it, a little shot of essential oil will pop out. Those are citruses. That is what a citrus is used for. The positive to a citrus is they're light, they're fresh. They're difficult to work with because citrus oils, what we call flash off in the industry, mean they evaporate extremely quickly. There's also a shelf life to them. A lot of people don't realize that citruses in general have a um, maybe six months to a year. Essential oils don't historically go bad, but citrus oils do. But they're also very, very inexpensive. So compared to a sandalwood, a vetiver, a rosewood, um, a process that requires a lot more complication than um, um, a cold press through essential oils with citruses. Citrus oils are um, usually a unisex scent. They're usually stimulants, the majority of them on the mind. They're fresh, they're uplifting, they fall in many different types of um, colors uh, indirectly so you can have tangerines and if you think of the variations of orange i don't know if you can see on the back wall that beautiful artwork that was done by amanda it's the young lady with the orange hair she actually is an artist here and locally in brampton and i gave her some of the smelling colors the one on the top is pink and next week we'll talk about pink 
but the orange was basically that was how she felt when she smelled it she sent it up her art studio she used it as a tool to stimulate herself <coughs> excuse me and what ended up happening was she painted that beautiful painting for me we often use that as a connection and help artists and work and make the visual connection and thus that comes the name smelling colors i hope i at least intrigued you and opened up your discussion and you join me each week as we talk about the eight different colors in my collection of with loves it is an industry standard different categories such as citrus i did not coin that by any means um, and we can talk about various different reasons why later on in my content. And I hope to see you again soon. Thanks very much. Uh, it is my birthday weekend, so I will be hopefully glamming up my hair myself. <laughs> Thanks again for joining us. It's been a pleasure, and I look forward to seeing you soon.